First of all, uh, the big game, uh, the whole derby on uh, Good Friday. How much are you looking forward to the atmosphere? Yeah, uh, you know, really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're about lucky enough to experience in round one. So, uh, yeah, it's really, really excited. Uh, a big game, obviously, for yourselves. Uh, how do you feel Hull Cow have been going so far this year? Uh, pretty inconsistent, to be honest. We've, uh, we've probably let a few games go that we, we probably had every right to win. Um, you know, a few games there where we, we were leading with, you know, 10 minutes to go and they slipped away from us. So, they're games that we're, you know, we're disappointed in. So if we could, we could have them again. We're, you know, we'd be really happy, but we, we don't get that chance. But we're going okay. It, it seems a strange season. Doesn't it? I, I don't know if we can describe everyone as inconsistent, but it's such a tight uh, point spread between the the, the middle and the, the bottom end of the table. That, a couple of wins, and he could be up at the other end. Yeah, and that's that's what exactly why this uh, this weekend is so important. You know, there's an opportunity to potentially get four points and you know push yourself up that ladder and. You know, if you're unlucky enough not to get any, you, you know, you're, you're bitterly disappointed where you are. You, you'll be at that bottom end for a while, yeah. As a player, do you enjoy this? Obviously, it's, it's hard on the body, two games in such a short, short period of time. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. It, it is what it is. It's You've got to do it. Uh, you can whinge about it, but it doesn't change anything, does it? You've still, still got to play in two games in, you know, in three days, which, which is, you know, physically really tough on the body and probably not the, the ideal thing, but it's there. It's been there for a while and, you know, players are used to it. Having experienced the whole derby, then was it everything that it was built up to be? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, lucky enough to get the win as well, which um, you know made it a bit better. I, don't, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much if we had lost, but yeah, it's it, it was you know really good. And I think you know to start my life as a as a you know whole KR player there, it was you know it was really good. Obviously, they started the season in poor form, but they've, they've started to pick up wins and got that big win in the south of France on Saturday, a big morale booster for them as well. Yeah, um, you know. Brought Gaz Ellis back, who, who's a bit of a figurehead for him, and he, he's you know it's hard to believe he's 37 and still still playing like that. Um, obviously Jake Connor, Jake Connor come back on the weekend, and he's he's dangerous. So I think that they'd be happy with that. There they've turned that corner by the looks of it. Hopefully we can you know put a stop to their rise up the table. But yeah, it's going to be tough. And how do you feel you're playing at the moment? Obviously the whole KR fans are, are loving you, seeing uh, seeing you rip into the opposition side. But how do you feel you're going at the moment? Uh, yeah, on, on a personal note, I'm reasonably happy with, it, with how I'm going. Um, I've got a bit of a different role in the in the side there. Um, I'm enjoying that uh, opportunity to work with you know players like you know Mossy Masoy and uh, and you got you got uh, Robbie Mullern and George Law there, who are two really good young forwards coming through. So yeah, I, I'm really I'm really enjoying it.